Okay, this is a, it's a streamer pattern. It's called a, a thunder fly. And uh, we're just going to start a cone head here. So we're going to put a thread base down. It's just going to keep the cone head from moving around a little bit. Pull that right up to the hook eye. Start your thread again. And just run a little thread base down to about the barb. And uh, then we'll just bring that back up to the front. Take a piece of uh, lead or lead substitute here. We're going to run that about three quarters. Just pinch that off. Bind that down with a little thread. Spiral wraps across there, keeps it from falling down in the cracks. So we'll just get that bound down. And we're going <clears> to <throat> come to the back here to the bend and tie in a tail. Okay, so we're going to tie in a marabou tail about uh, hook shank length. And just bind that down. right to where the lead ends. <clears throat> the reason we're doing that is uh, we're going to put another tail on top of it and we want to keep this body pretty even. So now uh, we'll take some crystal flash. Tie that in on top. And uh, another marabou tail. This time we're just going to bind this all the way down the, the lead just to kind of build that body up a little bit right up to the cone. down ok 
Okay, now we're going to take some uh, ultra micro chenille and tie those down the sides again. Clip your thread, and we'll, uh, we're going to do an overhand knot weave on this as well. This time we're going to alternate it oh, every couple of bands. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to start out with this olive color on top, and we're going to make two knots with the olive color on top. Then we're going to switch, and we're going to take the black behind the olive and make the same overhand knot and we're going to take that split the hook shank with it now the color is going to alternate so it's going to be dark it's going to be black on top now let's do one more knot and then we'll be able to see this a little better so now it's going to be alternating black tan black tan all the way down on both sides and it's going to give a kind of a spiral effect down the lateral lines so we went two knots with black, now we're going to go two with the green. The way you do get an alternating pattern is whatever color you, you take behind and make your knot with is what's going to be left on top of the hook shank. So we're going to, we're going to take the black behind the olive, make a knot, split the hook shank. Now to change the colors, we're going to take the olive behind the black, make the same knot, and split the hook shank with the olive on top this time. And we're just going to make an, two of these both ways all the way to the, to the front of the fly. Back to the olive. And now again the black. Okay, we're going to stop right there and reattach our thread. <clears throat> we're going to tie these off on the top of the shank here. down a little bit. <clears throat> now we're going to tie in some peacock curl. Actually we're going to tie in a, a hackle first right here. Hackle right here at the front of the body. Take some peacock curl, about five or six strands. <clears throat> and we're just going to create kind of a hurl with this. little chenille almost, and uh, wrap this body. We're going to tie this off right here at the cone. Put a whip finish in. 
And now we're just going to hackle this up. And you could use a uh, <clears throat> you could use a woolly bugger hackle if you wanted if you wanted some more legs and longer <clears throat> longer look to it. Whip finish it right there behind the cone, and uh, that's it. Alternating colors, woven body thunder. <clears throat>